welcome back to Jot's Shop. Please subscribe and ring that notification bell to make sure you're notified when we release new videos. In this video, we'll show some of the accessories we made to help us remove both the truck bed and the truck cab. We'll show fabrication of a cab dolly, an all-purpose adjustable lifting arm, an engine hoist attachment for lifting the cab, and also a bed dolly. We'll be using the metal that we have on hand to make these accessories. We wanted our truck cab dolly to be expandable so we could fit various sizes of cabs and bodies on it. We started by cutting legs from two and a quarter inch pipe with one quarter inch wall. We cut four legs, each eight inches long. We also cut four eight and a quarter inch long sections of one and three quarter inch pipe. These pipes will fit inside the legs and hold the four lift pads the cab will sit on. Next we used one and a half inch 10 gauge square tubing to cut frame rails into lengths of 12 inches and 18 inches. There are two frame rails per leg assembly. We'll use one inch square tubing to attach each leg assembly and make the dolly adjustable. We used a flap disc to round the ends of each frame rail so they could fit around our 8 inch legs. We could have used a notcher, however we don't have one. Bummer. Maybe if we're good, the boss will buy us one someday. Well, I'll think about it. We drilled one half inch holes at the end of each frame rail. We then welded in a nut so a bolt can be used to secure the one inch adjustment tubes. We also drilled holes near the bottom of each leg to allow the leg pads to be adjusted to different heights as necessary to level the cab. We finally welded one 8 inch and one 12 inch side rail to each leg. Once the four leg assemblies were done, we welded on a 4 inch square plate for attaching the wheels. This shows how the individual pads can be adjusted by using a lock pin and the holes we drilled. When all the parts were assembled and cleaned, we painted them. So we have the four leg assemblies, the four lift pads, the four adjustment one inch tubes, the interior leg adjustment pipes, and all the various nuts and bolts along with the wheels. After securing the wheels to the leg assemblies, we were ready to put the dolly together. Here's the finished adjustable leg assembly. And here's the adjustable frame rail. We created the all-purpose adjustable lifting arm from 60 inch long, one and a half inch square tubing. This can be attached to our engine hoist load leveler to pull the bed from the truck. We attached angle iron to 24 inch long, one inch square tubing to make the adjustable arms. As you can see, it'll fit nicely under the rails of the bed.
To lift a truck cab, we'll need to push the arm from the bottom instead of lifting from the top. So we create an attachment for our engine hoist that will accept a lifting arm. We secured a 16 inch long 2 inch piece of angle iron to the two holes in the lifting arm. We then used 2 inch angle iron for creating the rest of the attachment. The cross piece was 11 inches long and the two legs were each 16 inches long. After drilling the various adjustment holes and welding the attachment together, it was painted and attached to our engine hoist. As you can see, it rotates easily but doesn't rotate too far to the down position. We also added some locking bolts to our all-purpose lifting arm so we can lock the expansion legs as necessary. Here we're attaching the all-purpose adjustable lifting arm to the engine hoist. Now to create a truck bed dolly. During our shop's construction, we used a metal tech scaffold that was easily put up and then broken down for storage. The scaffold side rails are relatively light but very heavy duty. They're six foot long and that's exactly what we wanted our dolly to be. We cut some legs out of one and a half by one and a half tube steel. After cleaning up the ends and drilling holes for the scaffold quick connects, the legs fit very nicely on the side rails. We then welded on four foot long cross braces to make the dolly's legs. This gives us a 4x6 dolly that is good for a full-size truck bed. To make the dolly movable on uneven ground, we chose 6-inch rubber knobby wheels from Amazon. We cut out some mounting plates, drilled out the bolt pattern, and then welded the plates onto the dolly's legs. After spraying with paint, the end legs were ready to go. The scaffold's quick connects make the dolly easy to put together. However, as you can see, they aren't very good at keeping the dolly corners at right angles. To address this issue and also to give some additional strength, we created cross bracing using C-channel and some 1x1 one -one steel tubes. One other issue was that the scaffolding has a lip that could be crushed by the weight of the truck bed. We used some more of the one by one tubing to ensure that didn't happen. With the additional bracing, the dolly comes together very nicely and stays rectangular. The dolly also easily breaks down and stores in a very small area. If you have any comments or suggestions, please let us know. We look forward to comments and try to respond to each of them. That's all folks and thanks for watching.